Hey lovelies, it's Kate. Welcome back to another Sims 4 speed build. I hope you're ready for a modern build. I built this in Solani on a 50 by 40 lot and I just wanted to create something unique out of the ordinary and I was browsing Pinterest a lot and I felt inspired to build this here. So it's like a really modern crazy build I feel like and the eye-catching feature of this build is the staircase and I felt really inspired by the Plum Bob HU. They were in my winner video for my last shell challenge. They created a modern build and what they did was they built a staircase, they placed some stairs and then they rotated some Moschino stuff pack room dividers using tool and then they just placed them on the sides of the stairs creating some type of glass tunnel and I was so blown away. You can see this in my share challenge winner video and I was just so excited and I felt inspired like when I took a look at all these out of the ordinary Builds on Pinterest, just some renders. I remembered this creation by the Plum Bob HU and I just felt inspired. So I decided to create my own glass staircase. I used some Iden Living glass floors for this and of course tool. As always, the disclaimer, you don't need the mod to grab this from the gallery. It doesn't matter if you are on console or PC, you can just grab this from the gallery. You don't need the mod, even though it's amazing and I, I just recommend it to, to anyone. And yeah, I just rotated lots of island living glass floors and I created my own version. But credit for the inspiration goes to the Plum Bob HU. Please visit their gallery, check them out. They are so talented. So shout out to the Plum Bob HU. I just love to see all the talent in this community. It's just amazing. I, of course, still wanted to do my own thing. I, of course, didn't want to replicate what the Plum Bob HU did. So I just tried to use some additive and glass floors. You know how obsessed I am with this object. But it's a hate love relationship because I placed them in different areas as well and the floor disappeared like the translucent floor bug which is caused by the island living glass floors and glass roofs like the glass roof swatch and it's like the bane of my existence it's like at this point i got a just a little bit annoyed like just a little bit i always try to remain positive and hopeful but i have to admit the second i noticed that the floor is glitching away again I had to take a very deep breath. I was like, oh my god, why? Please fix <laughs> the floor. I don't know, they're testing my patience at this point. Please fix some building bugs. I said this in my last speed, but as well, I think. I don't know, I just, I just some of them, maybe, please, <laughs> I don't know. So here you can see how I'm building the staircase. And at first I wasn't sure which angle would be correct, which is why at the very beginning where I started to work on this, the angle wasn't correct. I only placed the stairs after working on like the staircase and then I noticed compared to the stairs, the angle is just different and it wasn't looking right. So what I did was I group selected the whole thing and I rotated around the center and just rotated the whole thing. I don't know, just 20 degrees or something. So this way I was able to make sure that the staircase had the same angle as the actual stairs on the inside. And I wanted to have this glass look, but I also wanted to have some type of, just some details, some type of frame. So I used these columns from Eco Lifestyle. I love them. I'm really obsessed with them. Like whenever I have to use some, some type of debug column for a modern build, it's always the eco lifestyle one I can just highly recommend it I then expanded the build and as I said I was browsing Pinterest and I saw similar builds and they also had a courtyard in the center which is why there is like a big hole in the center the shape is really simple and when you look at this you can already tell that the floor plan is like quite narrow on each side so there isn't a lot of space, like I'm just going to say it right away. It's a 
50 by 40 lot. I didn't even use the whole lot for this build, which happens rarely because they always build these huge mansions most of the time. But it just happened and there are two bedrooms, one bathroom. It has a really modern vibe and soon you will see the interior. I of course used all the new furniture from the Dream Home Decorator Pack and it's like really kind of gloomy really minimalistic and sleek on the inside as you will see but here i'm still working on the staircase like i was just adding more details it wasn't looking perfect this here is a wall decoration from dine out for example i just decided to use it to hide some imperfections and also down there like this area you can see how this wall decoration is kind of poking into this room and you could see it through the window before i removed it this area like this really small room isn't functional so I simply placed some trees in there so it just looks like another indoor garden I don't know a bit weird but I had to make it work the issue is when you are building this like this type of staircase some objects are just kind of glitching into the wall into into the adjacent room and all that so I used some vines later on to just hide some imperfections once again you can already see when you take a look into the courtyard that there are some columns just poking into the courtyard you can see it and I simply placed some vines to make it look beautiful so it looks perfect but I mean sometimes you just have to hide some some things using some vines and just some tricks so it looks perfect but it's not really perfect I don't know whenever things get a bit crazy in this game using tools sometimes you just have to use some some tricks and i don't know just to hide it and to make it look perfect i decided to use a really neutral muted color palette i used lots of wooden tones i knew that i would like to have a like the black swatch for the island living glass floor for my staircase and as you saw this is how i started the build and then i just expanded it also when it when it comes to to the color palette i just used the same colors essentially and this tree is just so perfect i, th I feel like this tree in combination with this build has a very specific vibe when you look at pinterest you see all these renders and like little models i don't know if it's even like sometimes a real life model of like really modern builds like architectural models i don't know and it just gives me this vibe also when you see drawings of some modern builds i just love the whole color combination I also placed some trees in there because this area here is outdoors. This is not a fully closed room because of the staircase, which is also located on the outside. Of course, just by adding a couple of unliving glass floors, you are not going to turn this into a closed room. So it's open. And the same goes for this little area where I placed some stairs, as you just saw. So I decided that I would just place some trees over there because we have the tree in the courtyard. We have a another one over here i just wanted to have this type of style and vibe and yeah i feel like even though it's small there's everything you need and it still feels kind of spacious you can here see that the floor plan is a bit different and really narrow and just super super different and furnishing this was so much fun because of the new pack of course i just enjoy the new furniture so much i'm also working on the let's play i'm just so excited i hope that i can upload it tomorrow on sunday or monday so very soon either tomorrow or the day after so we will see i'm just so excited how you're going to react and i don't know i'm just really nervous and really excited and yeah I also started to work on a really huge mansion. I've talked about this, but I decided to bulldoze it. I don't know, I didn't like the look. I thought it looked too bland and too similar to some other stuff that I had created in the past. So it's gone. I mean, it might be somewhere in my library, but it's gone. Whenever I bulldoze a lot, I never go back to this lot. Even when I save it to my library, once I'm not happy, it's gone. But I still can't delete it from my library. I'm like someone, I, I really like to keep some things also when it just comes to just data in general on my pc i think okay maybe i'm going to use it one day like maybe and i'm, I'm never going to use it again same goes for bookmarks in my browser i have lost control over my bookmarks 
and I still saved them. Like I still can delete the folder because who knows, maybe I'm going to go back to the old bookmarks, but I'm never going to because I have lost the overview and I don't even know what's going on, but I can't really let go. Sometimes this is how I am with certain things. Maybe you can relate or maybe you can't, I don't know. So yeah, the same goes for my builds in my library. They are just there and they are here to stay, <laughs> I don't know. So as you can see, it's really dark and gloomy. At first I placed some curtains over there I then got rid of them because there was just so much happening. I used the modular furniture. I used the smallest wall height available and I simply used the furniture the way they like it's intended to be used. They just snap and they connect and you can just move them around, which is just one of the most amazing features. Because just imagine you would place all these different furniture pieces and then when you want to change the, the position, you would have to move each individual object. This way they, they just connect and you can move it around. But the problem was when I started to furnish the bedrooms right above the kitchen, I could see the modular furniture, <laughs> like the top of the modular furniture. It was kind of like flickering and glitching through the ceiling into the level above and I just didn't move it around or anything. I didn't use tool for this. It, I just placed it the way it's supposed to be placed. And this is what happened. I don't know. I then moved it just manually just a little bit down so it would like glitch into the level above. I even tried to use tool to fix it. Like I selected all these objects and I tried to lower it, but this wasn't working. The modular furniture really doesn't like to be selected with tool and, and to be lowered. It was just sitting on different levels and really confusing. So I just I moved it around manually. And here I'm working on the living room, huge sofa. I'm obsessed with the new sofas and then remembered that it would be good if a house had a bathroom because I almost forgot. Really simple, not a lot of space. I used the new tub, I used the new sink, the mirror. There is no new toilet and the new pack, so I used the one from Tiny Living. I've noticed that I always use the one from Tiny Living. They all look so similar to me. Like when I have to make a choice for a toilet, I feel like we have way too many toilets in this game. Like some of them look different. So it makes sense, like the one from Equalizer, for example, is super fancy. But I mean, I don't know if this is like weird to say, but the toilet from Equalizer, even though it looks really modern and stunning, it reminds me of like a toilet that you see in prison, like in TV, like in US prisons, I don't know. Like not the design itself, but the shape, like not the fancy design, but the shape, it just has a weird design. I don't know, maybe it's just me, maybe it's weird to say this, but I don't know, the Equalizer toilet always just, I don't know, it's weird. It looks fancy, but I don't know. And then I furnished one of the two bedrooms. Again, I used the modular furniture. I just wanted to have some fun with this. And as you can see, I struggled a bit. It's just so much fun. And the only issue that I have is when I'm using these shelves, for example, I'm not someone who really knows how to clutter. So I really like the options with some doors. <laughs> so it's not open. So it's not like some type of shelf, but that's just me. I don't know how to clutter really. You can see this. You you are now witnessing how someone can't clutter. Like I really have no idea. There are so many random objects and like the two decorative objects that we got in this pack like this. I don't even know what this is. Like these weird objects that are just placed on the shelf, the green ones. They look super fancy and when I look at them, I understand that they are supposed to be decorative and that you can use them to clutter. You could place them on a table. But then when I look into the clutter section and build mode in general, I have no idea what to do because it all looks so random. There's a toothbrush and then there is maybe a random book and then you have like a, an empty basket and what am I supposed to place inside there. <laughs> like, I don't know, I feel like we need more specific clutter for decorative purposes, like some type of small statue, something, a bowl, something that you place on a table, something like really fancy, modern, decorative objects, just like the ones that we got in this pack now. 
maybe it's just my inability to clutter because whenever I look on Twitter, for example, when people posted like screenshots of their modular furniture, they just cluttered this so well. And I was like, oh my God, I would have never thought of using this object because it's just some weird, random base game object. I don't know. This was like the most difficult part for me when it comes to furnishing. I don't know. I need a clutter lesson. Maybe someone can teach me. I don't know. Do you enjoy cluttering? Let me know. Or do you think it's difficult? I know that some people clutter so much that it like... It's just, wow, absolutely amazing. I love to look at it. Like, I really love to look at it. I just can't do it myself. And I also don't enjoy it with myself. Like, I really like to, to design the rooms itself, like building a big kitchen and the sofa and just designing the room. But I don't, I don't like building or using clutter myself. I don't know. And this is it. I hope that you enjoyed this video, this build. I hope you're ready for the let's play because the let's play is going to be the next video as i said i hope that i can upload it tomorrow or monday i'm doing my best i hope that you're ready for the let's play i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you are doing well stay safe out there and now it's time to thank my wonderful emerald patreons thank you so much to brunia wilcox britta1607 delilah darkmoor Kellen Rini, Molly, Huen Yuring, Shanna McClam, Shalane Allen, Tamika Mitchell, and Victoria Smithies. Thank you so much for your support. I appreciate it so much. A big thank you to all my other Patreons. Thank you to anyone who watches my videos and supports me. I equally appreciate all of your support and I love you so much. Yeah, I hope you are doing well and I hope I see you in the next video. Bye bye.